Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Melissa. I hope you like my video, subscribe, and stick around. On today's video, I will be showing you some of my Thanksgiving pins, and I will also talk a little bit about what we typically do for Thanksgiving, and I'll even share a holiday drink recipe with you guys. And no, it's not eggnog. The first pin we have right here, it's actually from 2016. It has a little dangle element, and at the bottom it reads Thanksgiving 2016. It features Mickey, more of like a little Mickey outline or silhouette. I think it's so pretty. It is pretty simple, but at the same time, it's pretty elegant. And it has Mickey holding a pumpkin, and there's another pumpkin towards the bottom. On the background, you can see some yellow glass, and you can also see some orange maple leaves on it. And I just think it is so simple, yet so cute. This pin is limited edition of 4,000, and I really like it because it just really has fall red all over it in between the colors, the pumpkins, and the maple leaves. I just think this pin is so adorable. The next pin we have is also from 2016, and this is actually one of my favorite pins because as some of you may know, I love Beauty and the Beast, and this is a Beauty and the Beast mini it jumbo. Is limited edition of 250. It is a WDI pin, which stands for Walt Disney Imagineering, and it has the whole gang in here. It has Belle and Beast, Coxworth, Mrs. Potts, Chip, and Lumiere and everyone's sitting at the table and they're waiting to feast on their Thanksgiving dinner. At the bottom of the pin, it has a little ribbon that says Happy Thanksgiving 2016. And not only is my favorite Happy Thanksgiving pin, it is one of my favorite Beauty and the Beast pins. So love, 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 love. The next pin we have right here is the Happy Thanksgiving 2018 pin. This pin is limited edition of 4,000. And while I don't collect Muppets, I just thought this pin was really cute. It has Miss Piggy and Kermit the Frog and everybody's just sitting at the table. And again, they're waiting to feast on their Thanksgiving meal. So another super cute pin. And definitely let me know in the comments down below if you have any Thanksgiving pins. If so, which one is your favorite? Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so I wanna take this opportunity to say that I am so grateful and thankful for the Disney community. The community and the Disney community overall is just very welcoming. I've made great friends over the years and I am super thankful for those people in my life. I've recently discovered some new Disney friends through YouTube, so thank you so much for your support. I want to do a special shout out and a special thanks to Jamie from Jamie's Disney Kingdom. He was one of the very first people to subscribe to my channel and to leave some encouraging comments. So Jamie, thank you so much. That is really appreciated. Another huge thanks to James from Pin Pals. James is a sweetheart. He's always been very supportive, has always had a lot of encouraging words for me. So also James, thank you so much for your support. It's really, really, really appreciated. You're one of my awesome Disney friends. And James and I are actually doing a Christmas box swap. So stay tuned because on December 19, you'll be seeing what James sent me and you'll also see what I sent him. As far as Thanksgiving traditions go, I keep it pretty simple. I love watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's something that I've always loved ever since I was a little girl. So now as an adult, we typically host Thanksgiving at our house, so I wake up early. I start putting the turkey in the oven and prepping anything I need to take care of. And as I'm cooking, I'm also watching the Macy Thanksgiving Day Parade. Of course, you know, we get together with family. Sometimes friends join us too. Growing up in Puerto Rico, I remember my mom would always make this drink. During the holidays, it's called coquito. This thing right here. I would say it's like a lighter version of eggnog, and it's not as creamy, and it's actually coconut flavor. It's sweet, it's refreshing, and I think it makes the perfect dessert drink. Talking about drink. 
Mmm. So yummy. You like my mug? So cute, right? I feel like this is something that most people like. I feel like every time I make it, people are like, oh my gosh, can you make me some? What's the recipe? So I figured I'd share the recipe with you guys. So this recipe is really simple to make. I'm actually gonna leave the recipe at the end of the video. So if you guys wanna pause it and write it down, go for it. But really all you need is some white rum, which you can use Bacardi, Captain Morgan, any white rum you want. And you also need evaporated milk, condensed milk, coconut milk, coconut cream, and cinnamon to taste. So again, I'll make sure to post the recipe at the end of the video. And if you make it, definitely let me know how it turns out. Hopefully it's a hit with you and with everyone that tries it. And that's it, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with everyone that you love. And as usual, if you love the things that I talk about, definitely subscribe, comment, like, hit that notification bell so that you can keep on geeking out with me.